Imagine 2021 being the greatest financial year for you in your entire life because you chose to wrap your mind around entrepreneurship, free enterprise, capitalism, and understanding and winning the rules of the money game. Well, in this episode, I'm going to share with you something that we did on Facebook Live on November 30th on closeout night of our office. And the people that we've been coaching to go in business for themselves on a part-time and now to a full-time basis and how it's affected not only their clients, their cities, their communities, their families, but also how that's translated to financial confidence in what it looks like in their bank account. So I want you to watch and take some notes from this episode of Vlogmas 2020 here from the Seven Figure Squad. Happening in three, two, one. Let's go. All right, I believe we are live. Yes, we are. What's cracking, everybody? Money Smart Guy, Matt Zapala here, hailing to you from Oak Brook Terrace, Illinois, which is a direct west suburb of downtown Chicago, and I am excited for this holiday season. What a 2020 we have all had. What a weird freaking year the pandemic of 2020 has been. And uh, listen, in spite of all that, in spite of all that, uh, I want to make sure I do my part to give back. I want to do my part to share the success stories of the people that we've been helping in business, the people that we've been helping uh, shift careers, start new businesses in the insurance industry, and show them that we are a recession-proof, pandemic-proof, essential work, it's essential business type craft. Let me just share with you guys a couple, uh, a couple uh, screens here on my slide, uh, on my, uh, my, my uh, software here, about the income we've been able to help people make the last 90 days, okay? I'm gonna share with you my screen about the names and the incomes we've been able to help people make the last 90 days. 90 days, this is not for the year, this is for the last night. Would you would you like to go see that? A lot of, lots of times people follow my channel, The Money Smart Guy, because they realize it's not about me becoming a cash flow millionaire, me being a first generation cash flow millionaire. It's about you becoming a first generation cash flow millionaire and you at least adopting the mindset, the thought process, the action sequences, the opportunities with the, with inside our conversation, my context of this industry. And I want to just show you proof. I want to show you proof. For those of you who are watching this live, for those of you who are watching the replay, I want to show you the type of income we've been helping our people make in the safety and convenience of their home or office. I'm going to show you my office here in a second uh, and what type of income they've been making. And then we're going to make an announcement of what we're doing with this thing called Vlogmas. Vlogmas. Let me, let me flip the screen around. Let me share with you my top 20 guys. Okay, my top, let's see, my top, uh, my top 20 guys. In the last 90 days, let's go top 25. Okay, top 25. Uh, uh, Rich and Palma Altima, former banker, they made $24,000 the last 90 days. Keanu Hughes, $27,000 the last 90 days. Pastor Bay, $27,000 the last 90 days. Uh, Richard Monique Welch, of a real estate agent, former corporate HR. Made twenty-seven thousand last ninety days. Rashad Blanchard, real estate agent, made twenty-eight thousand dollars last ninety days. Eric and Christopher Cup, engineers, thirty thousand dollars last ninety days. Uh, 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 some other names here: uh, uh, Caesar Allison, thirty-four thousand. Danny Singson, retired Millbrae Sheriff, former real estate agent, thirty-four thousand dollars last ninety days. Godham came from a foreign financial company, made thirty-four thousand dollars last ninety days. Uh, uh, came from another insurance company, uh, thirty-five thousand, thirty-six thousand dollars last ninety days. Chelsea and Damian Mackey, forty thousand dollars last ninety days. Uh, uh, former um, a principal at a high at a, a grade school and former veterinary clinic, forty thousand last ninety days. Tony Martinez, former chef, uh, forty one thousand dollars last ninety days. Maurice and Tori Hansberry, forty four thousand dollars last ninety days. Uh, used to throw bags in the back of Southwest Airlines, now making forty four thousand dollars last ninety days with us. Andre and Jackie Jackson used to drive Uber. Jackie's a former uh, nurse making $46,000 less. By the way, is this crazy? I'm, they're not even in my top 10 yet the last 90 days. Joy Bryant, real estate agent, mortgage, taxes, $47,000. Edwin Jamie Musgrove used to sell um, newspapers and kiosks in the mall, $48,000 last 90 days. Ruben and Sable Ote, Navy veteran, a Navy veteran uh, making $49,000 last 90 days. Tommy Clark, $52,000. Vanessa and Travis Hill, 52000 last 90 days. Vic and Anna, <coughs> uh, uh, we used to work at a hotel in the hospitality department, uh, making $58,000 last 90 days. Candy and Ellie, 
Came from another former company, 58,000 last 90 days. $72,000 for Jasmine and El Suazo, engineer, former director of communications, uh, $72,000 last 90 days. John Mason, $115,000 $115, the last 90 days. And uh, yours truly making $380,000 the last 90 days. But that's uh, that, uh, a little bit of what we're doing here at, uh, at uh, the Money Smart Movement Organization, PHP Agency, as you see the uh, logos in the back. How do we do that? Our blueprint, we have a blueprint here to help people. We have a manual uh, we, we got a manual here that helps people step by step at how to create a new career change and how to establish a business in the life insurance industry that also provides retirement services. And uh, I, I just want to take a quick uh, uh, a tour about our office. It's about nine o'clock at night on closeout um, here in Oak Brook. Uh, Johanna, say hello, Johanna. Hello, uh, everybody. Uh, uh, we're, we're, we're Facebook Live. <laughs> Close out. <laughs> you fired up? Super. It's it. Super, we, we super. Got, uh, Ma Maury's hands very back there. Say Mo. Your what would you rather be doing, bro? You'd be doing this or throwing bags at the back of Southwest Airlines? Oh, definitely in here. <laughs> they, they look too good out there throwing the bags. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. MK over there, new, brand new, uh, brand new uh, marketing director, running her own agency right now. Yeah, very yeah. proud of you. Excellent. <laughs> is that, is that Hank, 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 Hank Gordon in the house? <laughs> Making it happen too as well, guys. Uh, Guys, they're not waiting for a stimulus check. You guys waiting for a stimulus check? We're no. creating our own no. checks, baby. Waiting for, waiting for a COVID check? No. no. I don't even know how to get it. What is, what is that? Where do I sign oh, up? PPP loan. I've never heard of it. SBA loan. <laughs> never heard of it. We're not dependent upon the government. Never heard of it. No. Whose hands? Whose hands? <laughs> These hands right here, man. Your own hands. That's it. That's capitalism for you, man. We got former banker Juan Maldonado here. What's going on, man? Marcin, who's in the uh, in uh, the, the National Guard, right? National Guard, uh, uh, military veterans here, current active in the, in the National Guard, making it happen. Former banker, now financial service professional. <laughs> Do it, baby. Do it. Uh, this guy's nine o'clock at night. What insurance office? You know that's here, man. Having fun, having a blast, making it happen over in the Nabil Khan. Used to work at the protein bar. Hello. Now, now running his own agency. All day. All day, baby. Love All it. All day. Patience, perseverance, and persistence. <laughs> the definition of that in the Money Smart Movement. I love it, man. Oh, man. It's, cl it's close out, man. Where everybody's closing out and having their best month here. Uh, close out nasty November. Let me introduce you to my wife right quick. Woo, hold on. Let me introduce my wife. These are our ladies. Uh, ladies, this is a perfect industry. Ladies, single moms, married moms, retired moms. Perfect industry for ladies to get involved. And by the way, the insurance industry, it's a natural industry for ladies to get involved in why because most ladies when they run across money they have a natural tendency to want to save secure create a nest egg sometimes guys when we get money we do dumb shit with money but uh <laughs> ladies php ladies every party let me introduce you to my wife right here oh hey. my hello. wife hey baby it's Hi. my boo boo hello everybody huh? <laughs> having fun sweetheart yes close out close out Very proud. So the that's, uh, that's Rashida Blanche over there making these happen. She's in the middle of a presentation right now, talking to people about the rules of the money game, how to win big in their finances for 2021. How, how about you guys? Uh, who, who is on here? Carla Carose, what's going on? Carla Tone, Hern Fernandez, what's going on, brother? Andrea McGowan, what's going on? Who else is on here? This other side. Boom. Uh, let, let me let me introduce you uh, to Mama Barry. She's like she's got like a master's degree, master's degree in education. She ran her own agency now. Mama Barry, say hello. We're we're, we're, we're on Facebook Live. Why, why entrepreneurship? I know you got a master's, a couple master's degree in education. Because I want to be able to control my income. I want to be able to control my time, and I can't depend on a pension. That's just the bottom line. Love it. Love it. Making Can things happen. A life. solution to the big problem out there. You're going to close a wealth gap. Help close a wealth gap. Absolutely. Boom. Love it. Generation X right here. Yeah. It's just Generation X raised on house music and uh, yes. R&B. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so this is, this is uh, one of my new field associates, Patrice Bolt. Patrice, hello. How are you? Yes, Welcome to the organization. Awesome. Very good. I'm glad you're here. Of course, you're here. You know, of course you're Yolanda. Oh, oh, Yolanda. Oh, oh, Yolanda. It's Glossy McGee over there, this running her own agency. Team, 
runs her own agency, runs her own agency. Boom. I told you this is a fit for ladies in the industry. Absolutely. Huh? By the way, we want to introduce Jasmine over here real quick. Absolutely. Speaking of education, we got master's degrees out here, and we got master's degrees in here too as well. Why'd you choose, why'd you choose entrepreneurship, Jazz? You're about to get your PhD. Why entrepreneurship? Man, I was an educator for over 10 years, um, and it really came down to um, not being stuck. I couldn't see myself being stuck in any one position for, I had like almost 20 something years left to be able to retire. And then at that point, there's no guarantee that I will have a pension. I couldn't see myself being stuck. I have way too much to offer for that. So uh, I found my way to PHP or it found its way to me. And now I'm growing and in terms of personal and professional development exponentially. Um, and I, I recommend entrepreneurship for anybody. We have to be able to learn how to make our own way. And no better time than now. Boom. That's Jazz Washington, yo. All right. Not only is she getting a PhD, but she's also building her own business. Absolutely. Very proud of you. Thanks, Matt. Let's take another look around. Who else? Who else is here at the office? I wonder if our good friends here at the office. Oh, oh, no, oh. no, not there. I don't want to peek too much. I don't want to be too invasive. <laughs> but our good friends. Uh, who else? Who else is here at the office? Oh, oh, is it Andrea? What's up, Andrea? What's going on? Le lease, former lease management. Yeah. Not running her own insurance agency. Absolutely. Why, why entrepreneurship? I mean, entrepreneurship, uh, freedom of time. I was working 60, 70 hours a week. Um, literally getting paid a salary. So that means they can work you however they want. I always say salary is too close to slavery. So <laughs> I, I never, I never <laughs> want to go back there. But. That's it. I chose entrepreneurship to take advantage of my, my income. I got three degrees. I like investing in myself. So I might as well invest in myself to tell make me some money. Love it. Love it. Great job, Andrew. Very proud of you. Thanks, man. Awesome. Are you guys noticing a common denominator here? Multicultural in the insurance industry, in 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 uh, the field of entrepreneurship in the ins in the insurance industry. Look at this. Boom. I'm so sorry. Got people here. Social distancing. Very proper. <laughs> I love it. You got... Uh, we got Victor Landor here. Guys, we're closing out the month before the last month that will close out the last quarter of 2020 to give us some momentum going to 2021. Vic, you gave up hoop dreams, yes, basketball dreams, turned out a professional uh, basketball contract. Yes. How much you making now a year? Uh, 250. <laughs> I'm way to 500. As an, as an entrepreneur, though. Facts. Show me a ring, bro. Who is it? Boom! <laughs> I love it's gonna it, man. It'll be rare pretty soon. So why entrepreneurship, man? Entrepreneurship because when I had the conversation, obviously, with you and watching 30 for 30, athletes going broke, I noticed that athletes, when they're athletes, they're signing their contracts. Number one, they can't negotiate their contracts. They can, but they're not in control of it. Number two, they're always going to be an injury, one injury away from a career-ending you know, deal. Uh, number three, they got to deal with politics, regardless if they're that person of that team, the star. If they're not the star, they got to find their role. If they don't find their role, they're going to roll the pine. So they're considered a glorified employee. When it comes to entrepreneur, I take a look at the top, right? Because after every game, regardless of what sport it is, the camera always goes up to the top, the suites, <laughs> where the owners are, the CEOs are, the investors. That's where the control is, where now you're as an asset where you can negotiate those guys that's down there, right, playing the game and putting their bodies on the line to say, hey, this is how we're going to take control of our franchise moving forward. So I took that mentality from the ball court to the boardroom, whereas in the, uh, in the athlete world, I cannot put a jersey on Massa Paula. I can't put a jersey on Fabian. I can't put a jersey on Judy. But I can offer an opportunity to Massa Paula, offer opportunity to the Fabian and the Judys, where they invest 199 into themselves, and they could make upward of seven figures, eight figures, and Lord knows where, because this the is limit, right? the wealthiest industry out, most regulated industry out, and this is going to be a, this is an industry that is severely undersized, and these people that looks like me and you, boom, right, to be able to bring back this information and bring, like Coach always says, Wall Street to our street, because who's doing it? Nobody's Nobody. doing it. So I decided to put that hat on and be that guy. My man. And also having the greatest leadership, the example, the coaching, the culture, and the environment. This is everything where you can plug into after you invest two, a one ninety nine in yourself, and after that you're in the green, your license, and everything is profitability from there. So it all depends on That's you it. how big you want to build this deal. That's it, bro. What, what, what's up? What, look, look at this gear. This is how you sell insurance. Oh, yeah. That's the gear you sell insurance, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> Entrepreneur right there, man. Yep. Very proud of Vic. Thank you. Look at yep. the gear on him, though, man. Look at that. <laughs>
<laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Guys, this is uh this is how we do insurance. This is how we do in the insurance industry. Right? Hold hold that right quick. There's another there's another uh, I think he's another quarter million dollar earner around here. Oh, 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 there he is. Swazos. What's up, man? Swazo, Ellis Swazo. What what you making uh, the last 12 months in the middle of the pandemic, bro? Oh, man, uh 270k, man. 270k? 270, yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's the common denominator between the two of us as it relates to the pandemic? You and I had both what? We both had the virus. We both had the COVID, man. <laughs> we, both we both had, had the, the COVID. Rona, man. We, we both, both had the Rona. We lived through it. Yep. You know, we all right, man. Just take a couple of vitamins, drink some water. You know, gotcha. it was all right. Not to say that, you know, I'm not trying to downplay it, but hey, sure. here's what it is. We lived through it. So you went to Southern uh, University. You were a teen dad at one point. You and your wife were both teen parents individually. Uh, you guys went to college individually, mm -hmm. became professionals individually, got mm -hmm. decent paying jobs. Why did you choose, after being an engineer, why did you choose the path of entrepreneurship? The, the freedom, the one word. One word is freedom, wanting to live the life that I wanted and I knew that I deserved. I just didn't know how to get there. I didn't know the blueprint, how to get there. I didn't have anybody in my corner. Uh, some words that one of my old bosses told me, uh, Eric Von Bombach, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he told me I needed a mentor. I was in my late 20s, man. I'm like, where am I going to find a mentor? I'm like, what, I'm going to just knock on someone's door and say, hey, will you be my mentor? <laughs> you know, but I never forgot those words. And then along my journey, uh, I met Matt. You know, a friend introduced me to Matt Cipolla, um, and he showed me this opportunity, and I just asked him, will you help me? You know, uh, can I make that money? Will you help me? He said yes. And from there, I was uh, completely indebted because I have a mentor now who's a millionaire helping me on the path because what better way to learn how to be a millionaire than from a millionaire but also in the same industry and willing to give you their secrets their trades you know uh, their mistakes say Ellis this is what I did wrong don't do this do that right and so that's why I chose it because I man, I just wanted the American dream man I saw Don Johnson growing up in Miami Vice living a life I wanted to live that life too man so it just kind of stuck with me as a little kid I say man why not me Boom. That's a question I ask. Why not me? Where you at in uh, rolling 12 months again? Uh, 270. 270. You're at 270 income. 270 income on my way to half a mil. I ain't looking back all the way to a million, baby. 100%. <laughs> ain't nothing going to stop me. So you're helping close the wealth gap, huh? That's it, man. Closing the wealth gap. Yeah, helping yep. people that, that look like me from the city of New Orleans realize that you can get out no matter your circumstances, no matter where you come from, um, that you can become successful too in an industry that no one even thought that we would ever become a part of. I'm black and Hispanic. Got another young African American brother right here. Big Maze. Maze. College education, uh, college education, and we got a Filipino guy right here. <laughs> Who the hell are we to be life insurance agents, <laughs> right? Taking over an industry, right? But that's what we're doing, man. So that's that's it, man. We're gonna take it over, dominate it, and become a bunch of wealthy million, multi millionaires, deca millionaires, right? It and behind you, look at that! Look at that boardroom behind us, man. We got we got people in there moving to the next levels too, as well. Right. My wife is over there in the background closing some business in the corner. I love it. I said, husband and wife team working there, man. Ellis yeah. Suazo, follow him, find him, follow him. Suavecito. So <laughs> All right, folks. Uh, so that's a little gist of what's going on. Usually, this office is packed and closed, but we're obviously we're practicing social distancing and. Uh, only uh, people that come here that are necessary should be here. But usually this office is packed with 200, 300 people uh, normally on the last night of the month, which we call a closeout. But listen, I want to make an announcement. I promise you an announcement. Uh, I want to share with you, I want to share with you some of the basic financial principles that have allowed us not only to become a first generation cash flow millionaire, but how we are, we've mentored all the folks that you see in the office making 100,000 a year, making 250 a year. We got people across the country making 500,000, 750 a year. This just happens to be one of our offices. But here, here's, here's what I want to share with you guys. I want to show my board here. But uh, make sure you follow Seven Figure Squad. If you're not following this uh, uh, business page, uh, Seven Figure Squad, follow my page, Money Smart Guy. If you're on YouTube, make sure you follow uh, Seven Figure Squad. Why? Because we're launching something called Vlogmas. Vlogmas. In other words, we're, we're part of this initiative that from the 1st of December to the, 20, to the 24th, right? Yes. That, that's, that's, that's Ivan over there. He's like, oh, snap, I got to create some videos, right? But uh, we're doing Vlogmas every day for the next 24 days. We'll be doing a Vlogmas episode video update on these three major topics that's allowed us financial freedom, independence, confidence, and clarity in 2020. And we want you to experience that prosperity in 2021. So we're going to be doing videos on financial literacy and how to win the money game.
Okay, these are some videos here. Three major categories. Uh, the one of the category is giving you basic financial literacy and how to win the money game. What are the rules? So the next five days, actually, we got five different videos, five different days on some basic financial fundamentals and strategies and, and uh, big uh, um, uh, macro thinking about how to win the money game because money is a mindset. Okay, money is a mindset. If it wasn't a mindset, uh, millionaires would be millionaires still after winning the lottery, but they're not because money is more than just money in the bank. It is a mindset, but we're going to teach you how to win the money game and get your mind right. The second part is going to do uh, a series of videos on income strategy, how to solidify your income, because it doesn't matter what you save or invest if you're losing income because you're just spending what you saved or you're just spending what you invested. We want to make sure your income is pandemic proof and recession proof. And we're going to give you some strategy for 2021 to be your most income increased top of year that you're going to have some compounding income, a uh, 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 passive income, a uh, uh, residual income in 2021. How? We're going to make sure you subscribe to the seven figure squad because we're going to be doing on vlogmas the next 24 days. Third is leadership and personal development, leadership and personal development. These are three main categories of what we're going to be sharing with you for Vlogmas on the Seven Figure Squad YouTube channel and here my my Facebook business page, Money Smart Guys. So we got a lot of things in store for you these next 24 days. Every day we're committing to having a video to help you improve your money game in 2021. So therefore you can think like a millionaire, you can strategize like a millionaire, so therefore you can become a first generation cash flow millionaire but you got to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Seven Figure Squad. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit notifications to be alerted the next time we upload our videos. If you haven't followed our Facebook business page, Seven Figure Squad and Money Smart Guy, make sure you do that too as well. We're going to be unpacking some of the things we share here in our, in our, in our blueprints, and not too, too in depth because there's a secret sauce. It's a secret sauce here, but also we're going to share some things here on my whiteboard. And I'm going to be doing a lot of traveling. Where, where's uh, where's where's my calendar, by the way? So I'm going to be in uh, I'm going to be in in Dallas. Uh, uh, I'm going to be in Dallas. Where's my where's the calendar I was writing on? Uh, I'm going to be in Dallas a couple times throughout this year. Here, so here 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 here's my working calendar. So uh, we're going to, I'm going to be in Dallas. So we'll be vlogging and sharing things from Dallas. I'm going to be with my mentor Patrick Ben David a couple times this year. I'm going to be with my fellow millionaire buddies and business partners, uh, um, uh, Jose and Marlene Gaetan. I'm also going to be with Hector and Erico Del Toro. And I also do believe uh, we're going to be in Lake Tahoe with our other millionaire buddies, uh, cash flow millionaire buddies, uh, George Palayo and Rodolfo and Ceci Vargas. So you're going to be not only learning for me, you're going to learn for everybody that I'm around, everybody I surround myself with that are making seven figures, and they're going to be part of our seven-figure squad uh, vlogmas episodes these next 24 days. You're going to be hearing from... Uh, Possibly Patrick and David. And let me share with you two as well before I wrap stuff up. Every video will have some form of contest. Every video will have some form of contest. We're going to announce something. So therefore, you can win a prize. And those prizes, and I believe the best prizes are books. Because books are the ultimate cheat code. And uh, we're going to be giving you some books. We're going to give you some. Uh, do we have any? Uh, seven, uh, look at the uh, uh, Archipathlete shirt there. Um, uh, 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 Ivan is wearing an Archipathlete shirt. Show the, you're my model right now, bro. All right? <laughs> right? So Ivan's going to be uh, 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 sending out to our winners uh, the Archipathlete shirt. We got some backpacks. We got some hoodies. But if you guys watch the episodes, you'll know, you guys know exactly what question to ask. So drop it in the comment section. So therefore, we can select you as a winner for our books, for our Seven Figure Squad merch. With that being said, guys, I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, hopefully you close out for the, whatever neck of the woods, it, whether you're in business with us in PHB agency or you have some form of business. I wish you well here, a, cl a happy close out to November and happy quick start to December as you close out also the remainder of 2020. And uh, I know I've been through a lot of challenges. Hopefully I, I encourage you guys, if you haven't adjusted, adapted and pivoted, we're giving you some strategy, give you some, give you some thoughts about how to do that with our daily vlogs called Vlogmas, V-L-O-G-M-A-S, Vlogmas, the next 24 days on our YouTube channel, which also will be broadcasting here on Facebook and Instagram. With that being said, guys, appreciate you tuning in. We're going to go back to our closeout because we are got some goals. We got, we, we got some goals here we're short of right now, but we got to we gotta bang out the phones and, and uh, close out these appointments. But uh, that's the life of an entrepreneur, and um, we're hungry like that. With that being said, guys, thanks for tuning in. If you haven't done so already, make sure you click like, mash that like button to follow our business page, Money Smart Guy. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe and you hit notifications 
to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. With that being said, guys, on behalf of my office here in Oak Brook, on behalf of the Seven Figure Squad team, right, boom, those guys right there, I'm your money smart guy. And until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today. God bless you guys. Happy holidays. And here's to a prosperous 2021. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go.